All right. Welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Come on in the building. Let's get this conversation going. <laughs> Welcome to the show, you guys. I'm your man, KTJ, and this is Love Coach Sessions Live. I'm glad to be here. Glad you're here. Good morning from Korea. Let's see who's checking in today. Celine is here. Yes. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Sylvia is here. And Estine is here. Forever Fly, Forever Love is here. And you are here. Welcome here. Welcome in, you guys. Tonight, we got a good topic that we are talking about tonight. Tonight, we're talking about how do you make the first move without looking thirsty or creepy? All right. That's what we're talking about tonight. Uh, it is pre-Valentine's Day. So this is the time that, um, look, this is the great time for us to talk about all of this. This is a great time for us to have these conversations about, you know, engagement and, and how we engage in 2023. Let me tell you something. How we used to engage is over. What we used to do is no more. I had, I had this conversation today about um, just kind of the masculine role and the feminine role. And I'm hearing more and more women, and y'all women, y'all chime in and let me know if this is true. I'm hearing more and more women say, um, I want to be feminine, but I can't. <laughs> I'm hearing more and more women say, I, I want to be in a, a, the feminine role. I want to be soft. I want to be caring. I want to be all the things, but I can't. She said, they say you can't be feminine if you're in survival mode. That's, that's what I'm hearing. I, I see the yes is coming in. <laughs> I, I see the yes is coming in. And so what, what I think and I may, I may just do a whole show on this whole thing. Cause I got a, I got a few events coming up. I got an event at a barber shop. I'm going to talk to men at a barber shop at the end of the month. And so I, I think we need to have the conversations because a lot of the men, um, a lot of men, they think that masculinity is about getting sexual. They think, they think masculinity is about getting sexual and it's so much more right and many of the men desire to be uh involved with women but they are stuck right they're stuck in the tra tradition right okay look look robin's ch chiming in <laughs> she said how do you transition well we're going to talk about all of that it, it, this this is not the day for that but i just want to um kind of introduce this topic you guys because I want to hear what you have to say um, before, you know, you know, a as things go along. Because, listen, there are a lot of men who only know one way. Now, the men desire to engage with you. And men want to have all the things that men want, right? Nobody wants to be out here fighting. Nobody wants to be at each other's throats. And nobody wants. Crickets in the bedroom, because if you can't agree outside the bedroom, there'll be. Crickets in the bedroom. All right. So so let's 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 get I got a um, I got a video I want to just show real quick and then we're going to get into our topic for tonight. Here we go. Here we go. You should already know about your partner six months into Hold a on, let me stop it. 12 things you should already know about your partner six months into a relationship. And they should know about you. If you don't know these things, don't freak out. Just ask each other. As a couples counselor, I feel like these are some important basics that you'll want to build on as you continue your relationship. If you and your partner can answer nine out of 12 correctly, you're doing great. What makes your partner laugh and cry? What are they passionate about? How did their family affect their growth? What makes them mad? Do they have spiritual beliefs and how do they affect their life choices? What are their defining moments? 
What is the most important to them? How would they define success? What kind of support do they need when they're stressed or sad? What are they the most proud of about themselves? What can instantly light them up inside? And how do they recharge their emotional batteries? Do you feel like I missed something? Do you want to tell me your score? Add it in the comments. All right, wait a minute. So um, I, I want to hear what you guys think. This guy's name is uh, Therapy Den, uh, Therapy Den, D-E-N. And um, he gave 12 things you should already know about your partner six months into a relationship. Yes, she Lacey. She's like, wow. <laughs> She's like, wow. A lot of people won't know this. Six months into a relationship, 12 things. Now, now I want to I want to play this again and I want to take it a little slower, y'all, because I we you, we might have missed some things here. So let's take it a little bit slower. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna start this from the beginning and um let's go with it. I'll I'll, I'll stop it and, and we'll break it down a little bit. Here we go. Twelve things you should already know about your partner six months into a relationship. All right. 12 things you should know about your partner six months into a relationship. Relationship, And they should know about you. And they should know if about you. Don't you. Know these things Hold on. Wait a minute. So it's not just about um, what you should know about your partner. They should also know these things about you. I, I like this list already. Let me let's let's see if we can talk about a couple of these things. Don't freak out. Just ask each other. As a couple's counselor, I feel like these are some important basics that you'll want to build on as you continue your relationship. Okay. If you and your partner can answer nine out of 12 correctly, you're doing great. All right. Let's see how, how many you guys get. Check it out. What makes your partner laugh and cry? What makes your partner laugh and cry? Do you know what makes your partner laugh and cry? For those who have a partner, um, you guys just say yes or no <laughs> do you know you know you might know what makes your partner laugh but do you know what makes your partner cry six six things this is the 12 things that you should know six months into a relationship with somebody what makes them laugh what makes them cry what are they passionate about what are they passionate about listen to this you should not be in a relationship with somebody that you don't know what they're passionate about Listen to me. You should not be in a relationship with somebody and you don't know what they're passionate about. You don't even know what they're passionate about. Right? You, you, you should know what, what moves them, what gets them... What are they passionate about? What, what are they here for? To me, the reason you chose them should be connected to their passion. All right, let's keep going. How did their family affect their growth? That's a good question right there. The person, six months, you're in a relationship with somebody six months into the relationship. You should know how their family has affected them and will affect their, your relationship. You should know some things. What makes them mad? What makes your partner mad? You should know this after being with somebody for six months. What makes them mad? What gets them angry? Do they have spiritual beliefs and how do they affect their life choices? Okay. Do they have spiritual beliefs? All of these things, these to, to me, y'all, these are questions that you should, you should know before you say, yes, I'll be your woman. Yes, I'll be your man. You should know these things already. You, you shouldn't be waiting until you get in a relationship to know what these things are. What are their defining moments? What are they de their defining moments? What happened in their life? Let me tell y'all something. There are people. There are people who are in relationships now who couldn't answer this question and they've been with somebody for years. What was their defining moment? Thanks for the, for the share, Mar. What, Mavis? I'm sorry. Mavis, thank you so much, Mavis. Look, what was their defining moment? Do you know <laughs> what your... But maybe, look, maybe it was they went to jail. <laughs> maybe they got locked up. I don't know. Maybe they, you know, maybe something happened at a party. <laughs> right? Who knows? 
but you should know what was their defining moment. Hey, Audrey. What is the most important to them? What? Listen to this question, y'all. What is more? What's the most important thing to them? And again, no jailbird for me. Hey, Key. <laughs> what, what's most important to them? Let me tell y'all something. The person should know what's most important to you as well. Th does the person that you are with know what's most important to you? Let's talk. Let's keep going. How would they define success? All right. The person you're with. This is a great litmus test to decide whether you should even be with this person or not. How do they define success? Because you would like to have a successful relationship, right? If you want to have a successful relationship, you got to know how they define success. What is success to them? Some people haven't even figured this out for themselves. Let's keep going. What kind of support do they need when they're stressed or sad? What kind of support do they need when they're stressed, when they're sad? I always say, that you don't really know a person until you've gone through the seasons with them. The seasons of happiness, the seasons of sadness, the se seasons of sometimes even grief, the seasons of difficulty. You don't really know them. So, yeah. What are they the most proud of about themselves? What are they the most proud of, of about themselves? Now you can you can even reverse this. Do, does the person you're with know what you are most proud of about yourself? Do you do, does the person you're with know? Does the person you're with can the person you're with answer that question? This is good, y'all. <laughs> she basically said, "Preach." This is good, y'all. Because these are some questions that you need to have the conversation. The person that you're with should be able to maybe, maybe, and if y'all been together a long time, maybe they forgot some of these things, but some of this stuff should be basic. What can instantly light them up inside? What can instantly light them up inside? What instantly makes that part, your partner happy? What make what gives them joy instantly when when such and such happens instantly it lights them up. She they said my my son my son my son okay everyone knows all right good. And how do they recharge their emotional batteries? Oh, how does the person you're with charge their emotional batteries? Some people go to the gym. Some people go to the, go get a massage. Some people use sexual activity for that release, right? We all adults, you know. All right. She lately said wine and rest. Okay. But you should know how your partner needs to re relax from stress. Do you feel like I missed something? Do you want to tell me? All right, so this was a good use. This was a good uh this was a good example here of some good good stuff here. So, let's get into the topic tonight. Tonight tonight we're talking about it. How do you make the first move without looking creepy? All right. I think this is a a good uh talk topic to cover uh, especially it is valentine's day week uh here it's this is the time everybody's going out everybody's meeting people they're going out to events uh couples are going out you know i was trying to get reservations uh, at a restaurant and got turned around like five or six times i finally found a nice place that we're gonna have a nice relaxing time <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. Going to one of these new restaurants, and uh, and afterwards, afterwards, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
but let's get back to the topic. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. Today, you guys, we're talking about it. How do you make the first move? Now, now I, I this is broken down. I'm going to break this down for the ladies and for the men. Okay? Now, now, let me tell you something real quick. Let me tell you something. That I this is separately for the women and for the men because I believe, I'm a person that believes that women have the right. You got the right to do everything else. Women have the right to make the first move. But the question is how you do it. Not with the, Hey baby, <laughs> not with the, what's up shorty. No, that's not, that's not what we're doing. All right. Appreciate y'all uh, hitting that share button, hit that share button, hit that share button. And if you're on YouTube, hit that, that follow that subscribe button and then hit the bell. So you don't miss any of this goodness. All right. So here we go. So this one is for the guys. Okay. Um, now, believe it or not, y'all, most men do not know how to make the first move. This seems obvious, doesn't it? But I'm telling you, most men do not know how to make the first move. Most men have no idea on making the first move. So let's let's help the guys out. Then we're going to help the ladies out. And ladies, y'all chime in and let me know if this is off, if you think, if you if this makes sense to you. If this is just wrong, then just let me know. All right, here we go. Number one, it well, I, here, here, I'm gonna just grab a couple of these and we'll just go with it. Uh, how to make the how to make the first move? Let me let me start with the let me start with the guys. This is what I tell the guys. When I'm doing these coaching sessions with guys, here's what I tell the guys. I tell the guys, um, for one thing, you have to work on your confidence. I have a meetup group that I just started for men, and uh, we're going to talk about all of that, like confidence. You have to work on your confidence. Women are not necessarily designed to go after men. Men are designed to go after women. Okay? So, guys, the first thing and the most important thing is in making the first move is your confidence. Do you believe in yourself? Do you believe that you are worth talking to? <laughs> Do you believe that you could possibly have success with this young lady? And how do you define success? Right. So confidence. Right. I tell here's what I tell the guys, uh, ladies, and y'all y'all can y'all can y'all can push back on this if you want. Let me know what you think. To me, I see it like like the uh the wild of you know the Serengeti. In the Serengeti, the lions don't wait for the zebras or the spring box to come and lay down in front of them and say, eat me. The lion goes after what the lion desires. So what was happening in our society is um, it's gotten to the point that men do men in the past have just gone crazy with this idea of pursuing women, right? They over pursue women. And now you have all these things, me too, and all these things. So men have pulled all the way back and now, when a man sees you at the store, he just stands and stares. He just stands and... He's just looking at you. And he's like, well, should I go over there? Should I... <laughs> should I go over there and, and should I say something and and... Maybe I, I might get rejected. Another one. Do it again if you get rejected. Another one. You see that girl over there? <laughs> There's another girl coming. Another one. There's always another one. There's always another one. So I tell the guys, look, you got to get out of your head. Now, it, listen, it, there's a we have a natural fear of 
approaching people because you don't know how, how it's going to be. So instead of standing there with your hands in your pocket, playing pocket pool, <laughs> you got to go after the per the woman. If you see a woman, you don't, I tell, this is what I tell the guys and, and you, ladies, again, y'all push back if you want. I tell the guys, stop waiting for a signal that she likes you. Stop waiting for her to flip her hair or to smile at you or to do any of the things. If you want to meet her, go over there and meet her. The worst that she can say is what? What's the worst she could say? <laughs> the worst thing she could say is no. You say, hey, I saw you over here and I wanted to come and meet you. Hey, what's your name? She she just say, um, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. Right? And you can either pr keep pursuing and, you know, ask her again. Oh, oh, okay, you're not interested. Well, you know, I just wanted you to know. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't missing out on a great thing <laughs> before I walked away from here and never seen you again. I wanted to. I wanted us to have a good uh, a, a possibility of connection, but it's all good. I hope you have a great night. Boom, gone. No harm, no foul. But I'm telling you, one of the biggest things that men deal with is this underlying fear of rejection. Guys, you got to get that out of your head. She can't crush you. It's especially because she doesn't know you. I don't care if she cussed you out. She don't know you. And it doesn't mean anything. So you just pursue. Now, there is such a thing as over-pursuit. Okay? If she tells you, I'm not interested, and you ask her one more time, and she say, no, I'm good. Right? Right? And it's obvious that she doesn't like you. That means you have to be able to read the room. Can you read the room? If she says, I'm not interested, you know, okay. Wish her a good night. Don't, don't call her a stupid, you know, a name. <laughs> right? Just say, hey, I hope you have a great night. You know, nice meeting you. Bye. And move on and talk to somebody else. Because there's somebody else waiting to be engaged. All right? Y'all tell me what, what, what y'all think about that. Let me know what y'all think about that one. All right? So I got more. Here we go. Let's talk about, let's talk about it from the, from the female side. Right? Now, here's the thing. I understand that uh, femininity is not something that, you, you know, um, the feminine is not in the position to do the hunting, to go after. I tell all my clients, look, um, you are not to be husband hunting. You are friend finding. And let love take its course. Okay, let love take its course. You're not husband hunting. You're friend finding. <laughs> hey, Italiana, my Miami queen is in the building. You're friend finding, not husband hunting. So, so here's a couple of ideas. We're talking today. If you guys are just joining us, we're talking about today about um, making the first move. Listen to this. I'm gonna tell you something. Some, some of you, look, listen. There's some ladies who, whose brain went click went went off when I said making the first move. But I'm telling you, there are some creative ways to make the first move, right? So here, here's a couple. You can make the first move. Your greatest move, ladies. Listen to what I'm saying. Your greatest move is with your eyes. Now, let me let me put a pin in this before I get into this and tell you, ladies, here's the downside of you being in the position of always waiting for someone to come to you. 
Like we've been in taught in our society that a woman should step back and wait for a man to come after you. A man, wait for the man to make the first move. Make the wait for the man to do this. Some of you are still waiting for the man to come and you just sitting there all alone. All alone waiting. But I'm telling you, you can be proactive in this process of of meeting and making the first move right here's what you do help them out that's good that's good to tell you check it out your first weapon that you have let's call them weapons in making the first move is your eyes right your eyes are the 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 Probably your biggest attraction tool is your eyes. Okay. Guys can be very thick. Let me let me just tell y'all ladies this. Guys can be very thick. Sometimes a guy doesn't see you, you know, he 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 might not even see you flip your hair. Right? He might not even see you doing all the things, smiling, laughing, all of that, right? But he will see. When you are, you turn around and you look at him and you hold your gaze. Now, some of you are not comfortable holding your gaze because you don't do it, right? It's not something you do all the time. But I'm telling you, get comfortable holding your gaze. Now, here, how do you get comfortable holding your gaze? This is what you do. Dick Brown, I see you in the house. I, I'm going to come to some of those things you're saying there. <laughs> Look, here's how you hold your gaze, how you get comfortable holding your gaze. When you wake up in the morning, go to the mirror and look at yourself in the mirror and hold your gaze looking at yourself. You'd be surprised how many people don't look at themselves in the mirror. No, no, they look at like their shirt. They look at, you know, their hair. They look at when they, they look at their skin. But I'm telling you, most people don't look at their own selves in the eyes. It actually has to come naturally. No, 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 no. I'm telling you, this can be, this is, it's a habit that can be created. But most people don't do it because they don't know that it's, it's they don't even realize that they don't look at themselves. So you go to the mirror in the morning, at nighttime, it doesn't matter when. And just hold your gaze at yourself, eyeball to eyeball, and just hold it. As you practice it, it actually becomes easier to do with strangers. But first, you got to get comfortable with it yourself. Let me grab some of these comments on uh, the TikTok side. All right. Miss Italiana said, I love to smile and say hello to a man. I love that. <laughs> smile and say hello. You'd be surprised as to what can happen after that. My mom always says, help help them out. That That's a great tool. You guys got some great tools. Look, a great tool is helping, helping a guy out. Most men need help and most men will not ask for help. Most men will not ask for help, even if they need help. And trust me, men always need help. <laughs> men always need help. Just find a creative way to do it. Thick Brown said, when I let them come, I, I got nothing but jerks. Mm. When I went first, I had more options. Bang! I got to give you the horn. Thick brown. Did y'all hear what she said? She said, when I just let them come, I got nothing but jerks. Why is that? When you only receive the people who come towards you, you're only limited to the people who decided to choose you. You are choosing from those who chose you first. Do y'all understand that? 
when you are choosing from those who chose you first, you got limited options. But when you do the choosing, you have more options. I'm telling you, because sometimes uh, P P uh, Peanut and Ray Ray and Pookie and them, they the ones who step up. But Shy Bob is standing in the corner. Shy Bob really wants to get to know you. Shy Bob would be a great partner. He'd be a great man. He'd take you places. He'd do things for you, with you, and for you. And he'd pour out his heart and be a, an amazing man for you. But what's the problem with Bob? He's shy. So he stands back and watches P Pookie and Ray, Ray Ray do all the cleaning up. But there's no real intention in that. Taliana said, look at him. Hold the gaze and smile. It works. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Big Brown said, I need to be on your show. You do. You do need to be on the show. <laughs> I used to kiss my pillow to practice a kiss. Ooh, now I'm a pro. Now, and that's something. I got to give you the. She used to practice kissing, kissing the pillow. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, understood. Well, look, you let me know because I'll bring you up on the on the on the YouTube side. <laughs> we'll do that. And we'll, I guess we'll do that another time. We'll I'll drop that link. I I love having people come up. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll have you come up tonight if you want to come up. Yeah, I, I I don't I don't mind. But let me get through this this part right here from the women's side. So, if you see a guy, use your eyes use your eyes to attract them you guys here's something else i was just telling the client the other day you use your body let's say you're sitting at the bar and the guy comes over or he's you know maybe he's near you you turn your body and face him and smile that's a cool that's a complete open invitation Okay, next time. Absolutely. Turn your body towards him. That lets him know that you're interested without you even saying the word. All right. Now, uh, on on online, some somebody said buy him a drink. Um, I think that's too much. If you're trying to make the first move on the man, I don't I think that's too much. To me, that that's a little bit much. Buy him a drink. To me, you acting thirsty when you, you buy a man a drink that you don't know. However, however, I've got a suggestion. After you turned your body towards him, if he still didn't come over there to you, give him the old school point and come here. You Come here. Now he can get out of his head. He can stop thinking about, uh, you know, getting a drink thrown in his face. He can stop thinking about getting turned down. He can get all that negative stuff out of his mind and start thinking about, oh, yeah. She said, come here. She said, come here. <laughs> So a fine man next to me, I said, you're mine tonight. <laughs> see, see um, Thick Brown, everybody's not, not, I'm sure he did say, okay. <laughs> she said, you're mine tonight. My man said, okay. I bet he did. He was like, oh my God. <laughs> he was pretty excited about that. All right. So here's the thing. You also want to be flirty, but not thirsty. Be flirty, but not thirsty. Let him ask you for, for your number. You don't have to be like, hey, would you like my number? 
Would you like to take me out on a date? You're going to be like, <laughs> you can just be flirty without being forward. There's a big difference between being a flirty and too forward. Not unless that's what you want. Now, if you're only here for a good time and not a long time, yeah, you know what I'm saying. You just here for a little. You here for a good time and not a long time, then so be it. But it generally won't give you what you want. Taliana says he asked for my number at the end of the party at the end of the night and he asked may he take me out for Valentine's Day. All right. Beginning of that was you're right about the eyes. The guy at the bar said he so my eyes are gorgeous and and pulling him. Yes. Understood. It works. Those eyes are everything. Hey Kim. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Yes, yes, yes. So if you want to get the. Or the. If you want to get that popping. Then you have to. Get comfortable making the first move. Officially, toys. Thank you so much for the for the love. Thank y'all for the for the share. I need five more people to hit that share button. Hit that share button. All right. So, fear, so I, I was talking about this earlier. Fear of asking someone out is rooted in an underlying fear of rejection. That's why it's so hard. That's why it's so hard. You you are facing fear of rejection. You know, now nobody wants to be rejected. But understand that you can't win unless you get out and try. All right? I'm going to open up the floor, tag some folks that may might want to come on up. You want to come up? If you want to get some, let, let's talk about you and how comfortable you are in meeting new people. Are you having a problem meeting new people? You can come on up. We can talk about your current situation. All right. We got some folks coming on up. You guys, be make, make sure you turn your cameras on. Invite sent. Oh, no. My camera is not on. All right. How, how about now? All right. Dick Brown say rejection is part of life. How else will you know of <laughs> if you don't try all right um italiana you are up hello are you echoing hold on one second i can you hear echo or just hear yourself All right, all right, hold on. Wait a minute. All right, is, it, is that better? Okay. Good, 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 good. All right, uh, you know, I want you to come on camera. Are you coming on? <laughs> yeah, I think, no, not, tonight. not tonight. All right, all right. Well, we we we're not gonna see your pajamas. 
but it's all good. It, it's okay. All right, uh, Dr. Shirley, thank you so much for being here. I'm, let's start with it. Let's start with Italiana, and then we're gonna go to Dr. Shirley. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, let me let me just put you on mute for a minute. Okay. All, all right. Go ahead, uh, Italiana. Mm -hmm. And I said, let me go. I don't drink beer, but I've never been to one. So I said, that's cool. She, she's the bartender there. So as soon as I sat down, you know, um, one guy came up to me, but it was it was her friend, but he didn't know yet that I was there with her to visit my best friend. So we were just talking. And then another guy came up after that, and then we ended up talking all night. Really nice guy. And um, that was the one that got my phone number and asked, will you take me out? We, we had, like, deep, natural, flowing conversation, as always, as I always would with anyone. Mm -hmm. And he told me, you know, all about, like, all the way to his grandfather passing away. Like, we, we probably played some beer pong without drinking beer. And, of course, I won the winning shot. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So we won as a team. We, we had a good night. So it was nice. 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 How, how long ago was that? Two, uh, maybe, yeah, two weeks ago. Okay. So I said, I need to go out again. I'm going to go back there. It's a really nice vibe over there. And, you know, since my best friend works there, it's nice and safe. So. All right. So wait a minute, though. So the guy, did he ask for your number? He did. Only. Um, and he's good looking, too. Tall guy. Very good heart. He serves the Lord. He serves at church. Like, it was a total cool connection. Only he was a little bit younger for me because he just turned or is turning 30. So, yeah, I would prefer, like, 35 and up. Okay. <laughs> so, I, to be honest, like, that's the one thing. Otherwise, he's a total good soul. Mm. But I'm not going to, like, further on because of that, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so he never reached out again after after that night. No, he did. Okay. He, he texted me, texted me, asked me, you know, um, to let him know, call him when I get home safe because I had um like an Uber driver come pick me up and everything like that. You know, mm -hmm. we're okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. He's a nice guy. Yeah. Good. 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 It was Okay, so let, let me tell you, let me say something about that. Um, uh, and and um, let me tell you, let me tell you my thoughts about that. Sometimes we put way too much pressure on the meeting, right? Sometimes we put too much pressure. Sometimes you're just meeting a, another human being to have a good moment in time together that night. Sometimes it's it's not that you're going to marry this guy, <laughs> it's, you know, it, it, just because you had a good a good night, you guys had a good experience together. That doesn't mean you're going to get married. Maybe maybe that night you guys hanging out at the at the at the restaurant enjoying each other. Maybe that's it, and maybe the lesson is there are good people out here. Yeah. Definitely. I was thankful to God for that too because everything was perfect. Like, we were a great team playing the game. He was half, like encouraging me the whole time, like, you can do it, you can make the shot. And I'm like, no, I like, oh, no, I learned from you to do it. It's just crazy. I won the winning shot. We had a great time. So yeah. Three hours. He walked me to the restroom, wait for me outside the door. Total gentleman. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that maybe that'll be encouraging to somebody out there who feels like there's no good men left or, you know, all the good men are taken and all that sort of thing. This is a good confirmation that, that there are some good people still out there. So it's true. I mean, I think that's just things people say and then they, they jump on it because but it's, I feel like it's almost an insult to the creator. It's like you're saying that like the 
creator of this whole universe, you know, um, that that our that lives inside of us did not create good, you know, souls out there, men and women. That's mm -hmm. crazy. That's how I look at it. Absolutely. <laughs> It's absolutely true. All right, Italiana, thank you so much for coming up. I, yeah. I appreciate you. Have a great thank night. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, Dr. Shirley is in the building. Hello, Dr. Shirley. Turn the microphone, yeah. Oh, there we are. Okay, all right. Yeah, but um, I, don't, I don't know about dating too much. My husband died about seven years ago. And uh, we were real serious, and that didn't go very well. So for the last year and a half, I have not dated anyone. Mm. <laughs> so, but I have, uh, I have uh, went online. Well, I'm not. I mean, you said you can make meet somebody anywhere. Mm -hmm. you you say. Yeah, you you heard me say that. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> Mm. Dr. Shirley, um, tell me, where do you go? Like, where do you go to, if you want to, if you just want to be social, what's your, what's your life like? What's your social life like? My social life is going to church, uh, going to different conferences, uh, going to different meetings at the church, uh, going to the library, going to the school, um, you know, parent meetings and, and school meetings and, and uh, socializing uh, with the teachers. Okay. Okay. And, uh, uh, That's what I'm doing. Um, are there any men at the church? Well, yes, but not, not any I want. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, somehow I knew you was going to say that. <laughs> um, okay. So none that you really, not, not the kind you want. Um, <laughs> so how about like, like, now I know at the conferences there probably aren't any men at the conferences either. Oh, okay, okay. Tell tell me the age range that you look that you're re really looking for. Oh wow! Wow! <laughs> That's not happening. Wow! Because uh, they seem like babies to me. And um, my son and my daughter's forty-three, so you know I'm not hardly going to bring anybody home. Uh, we're going out to dinner. We're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Don't you get your mind thinking that you're going to have anything with me? Um, <laughs> yeah. So 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 you like that uh, age 60, 60 to sixty-five. Wow, you, I mean, I mean, because my husband was, you know, sixteen years old when I was. Okay. So therefore, to go back, way back there like that, and then uh, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think I want to go back there. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Okay. Um. All right. So the thing is, um, I I think you have to treat yourself. Listen, listen, y'all listen to what I'm saying. What I'm Greg saying. This is going to help a number of people. I believe that you have to treat yourself the way you want someone to treat you. Right? If you enjoy um, going out on dates, like going out, going dancing, uh, just being social, right? You got to do that to your for yourself. That that might mean taking yourself out to a fine restaurant and, and going going solo. Um, I always like I, I like conferences, um, but I like various conferences. Like maybe there's something else that you're interested in that maybe you haven't tried yet. You know, um, so it's it's really like expanding your borders 
Um, because if if here's here's a, a golden saying, say if uh, what do they say? Uh, the the, the what, doing the same thing, <laughs> hoping for a different result, <laughs> is the definition of insanity. You know, so I'm I'm telling you, um, you're going to have to get out of your routine, get out of your comfort zone of, you know, these these three or four places that you go (laughs) and try something new. Get yourself some. Look, you going to you going to I I see your picture. You look so nice in your your little church hat. (laughs) But but you 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 gonna have to get you some nightlife clothes. Nightlife, okay. Nightlife. Oh, okay. Nightlife. Ain't ain't nothing ain't nothing long ain't nothing wrong with going to a nice a nice restaurant, um that's got music and got like maybe some live jazz or like just just some places where people are, um are are congregating and just just going out and it just being social and just enjoying yourself outside of the normal places. That you go. Yeah, three There's three little places. <laughs> Cause the same people gonna be in them three little places. You already know who gonna be there before you get there. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm gonna change and I'm gonna make a conscious effort to go to the gym. <laughs> Listen, to me, to me, the gym is a great place yeah. to meet new people, take take some of the classes, you meet some of the ladies there. And, and and there'll be guys that'll be around, um, and and to me the gym, because you're also working on your own body, which says a lot about you. Okay. You know, that, yes, that, it it does. It mean it means something. It means wow. I want to. You want to stay in shape, so you're gonna be get you're gonna be in shape whether you're with somebody or not. And and that's that's that means a that's that means a lot to a high quality man um, that you not you just not just gonna sit around and let yourself get fat. <laughs> but, <laughs> look, 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 yeah, look, I got I got a friend of mine. She said she she met a guy, and um and she's a coach too. And she said she met a guy, and he she he she flat out asked him. She was like, you know, what can we do? What can I do to maintain our relationship? He said, he he flat out said, don't get fat. He said, I don't want no fat woman. <laughs> he said, keep yourself looking good and you're gonna keep my you gonna keep my eye on you. That's good. That's good advice. That's right. I'm gonna do that. So it's it it's it's what it's what's in your hand. It's it's what's in your hand to do. It works. Yes, yes, yes. So, well, thank you so much for coming up. I appreciate you. And, and look, if, if you want to if you want to book a session, go ahead and uh, click the link in the bio, and we'll get more in depth with uh, with some things to do. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I will do that. You're welcome, Dr. Shelley. Have a good one. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. My friend, my new friend, (laughs) Chief Apostle Arlene Williams is in the building. Hello. The thing so I'm going to invite you up. I don't know if you're going to come up, but I'm going to invite you anyway. Yes, yes, yes. So. (laughs) Refresh and handsome. Thank you so much. I appreciate the love. (laughs) <laughs> thank you so much Italiana said well he better not get fat either hey you know what um, what he wants is what he wants maybe she likes a guy there's a lot of women who like a little chubby guy <laughs> so everybody don't want the same thing and there's a lot of chubby guys who want fit thin women hey whatever you want I believe there's somebody out here who wants the same exact thing. This is what I tell the guys, yo, don't don't be out here lying to these women. Tell these women the truth. If that's what you want, say it. All right. All right. Hello there. Let me make sure your 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 uh 
Microphone is on, camera's on. All right. Hello there, good, good evening. Good evening to you, how are you? I am amazing. <laughs> And so handsome. Oh, thank you so much. If you're trying to see if a chocolate brother can can blush, I can. <laughs> I, I can turn a little red. You might not be able to totally see it, but I can turn red. <laughs> All right. So so look, I, I, I never know exactly what to call you. Should should I call you Chief Apostle or Arlene or like what should I call you? I want to call you Arlene. That's fine. All right, all right. So, so talk to me um, tonight. Tonight, our topic is how do you how do you make the first move without looking creepy or thirsty or whatever. So, uh, tell me about maybe your your experiences, like or or if a if a if a I don't know your situation, but if someone wants to approach you, like how should how should they do that sort of thing? their spirit then I will continue the conversation because I'm bold like that mm. if their spirit is not soothing to me I will just cut it but if I'm interested I'm going to lead the conversation because I am um, I'm not one who back down if I like you I'm going to let you know I like you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but wait a minute wait a minute and I don't want this point to be lost you guys um, because the, the, believe it or not, a lot of men are very clueless on this. <laughs> They're very clueless. So I want to take something that you just said and and, and make a stick a pin in that uh, and make a point here. She said, if she's having a conversation and she likes you or she's feeling she feels good about your energy, she'll continue the conversation. So. You know, some some guys they can't read the room, <laughs> and they can't tell when to back off. You know, just know if she's continuing the conversation, she's enjoying the conversation. If she if she cuts the conversation, you should cut the conversation. That's right. That's it. And um, and there's a way to continue the conversation. You know, some guys are intimidated because a woman can just have a certain look about her and he could be intimidated about her look because she might just look very assertive, very dignified mm -hmm. and the list goes on. Mm -hmm. However, if she's aware of that's how she looks, then she has to take the initiative and says, well, do you mind us exchanging numbers? Not trying to be nosy. But you have to ask a question. You can't just ask for the number. Asking questions are much easier in trying to communicate with someone, even to correct them. It's better to ask the question. Mm -hmm. Do you think that was cool? Do you think or what you think? Mm. When you ask questions, you're going to get more than when you make a rule or you're dominant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, uh, at the same time, Arlene, I, I think um, some 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 women are different right every every woman is different in how they uh, how they want to approach these things some women don't want to be asked a bunch of questions a bunch of who what when where why like 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 they're being inter interrogated <laughs> by the, they're sitting under the lights of the FBI Yeah. And, and don't be talking too much at the very beginning of the meeting. Mm. If there's going to be too many questions asked, because I don't like to be questioned. Yeah. 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 It definitely turns turns things sour. He's, yes. he's sitting there with all the questions. But but I, I like I like that 
uh, thing you just said just now about, um, you know, c keeping it short, but get getting the number and you guys can, you know, continue, continue yeah. later on. Yeah. 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 Are, are you a text person or a phone person? I'm not a text person. I'm a phone person. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um. There. There's now a <laughs> a growing generation, even even of older men, who don't want to talk on the phone. They they all all they want to do is text. And some of these guys, 55, 60 years old, all they're doing is texting. I'm just, I'm just now, um, I just know I'm trying a relationship. I just started, and the gentleman, we took a picture together, mm -hmm. and he says, put it on your Facebook, but I didn't put the name. Mm. And um, I, I aggressively says, okay, I'm going to come to see you now because you said you love me. You're challenging somebody's very strong, bold, and will make the first move to help you and continue to make your moves. So I did that, and um. Did, wait, we, hold on a second. So are you? Did, did you actually put him on your Facebook? I did. Okay. Okay. How how long y'all been talking? Um. Since last year. Okay. December or, or November, he reached out to me, and um, I was like, "Nice guy." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm ready to date, so I'm gonna open up, and um, and so as I open up, he reached out to me. I opened up, and then the number introduced himself and left his number, and okay, we, we talk, and then we talk, and then. We talk, and then I, I was like, oh. and then I blocked him. I'm like, no. <laughs> and then, then he find me again after, and I'm like, how did you find me? And I blocked you. I don't understand. Mm. And he says, well, I've got many other, you know, uh, I think it's pages or something. Like that. Uh -huh. and, and then we talk again, and I'm like, uh, and then we, t and then, you know, and I'm like, okay. And I find my heart open up. I like how he sounds. Mm -hmm. I like his language. Mm -hmm. And I'm willing to try it because I like his sound. Yeah. His energy. I like his energy. Okay. So I'm like, okay, it's long distance. So, okay, let me do something because I don't have time to wait. Mm -hmm. So let me take a challenge. And so I get my team and we took a challenge to say, come on, guys, we got to travel. Let's go. So I did, and um, it was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I was ecstatic. I was like, for six years, I've been alone. I've been abstinent. I don't play around. I nothing. I'm just ministry. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, this is beautiful. I can't believe I'm still out. Like, you know, this is fun. Okay. And it was really sweet when I met him. I was just kissing up his face. Nice, nice, nice. So, so do you see? Uh, you do you see this becoming something serious? Well, the way he sounds, I want it to be serious because I love his readability. I love his futuristic way that he speaks my language. Okay. The future, the ministry. What he speaks sounds good, but I'm quiet. I'm I'm listening because he has the gift of gab. Yeah. So, Yeah. Very convincing. He sounds very honest. Yeah. I love his energy. When I'm close to him, I love his energy. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to fight for this relationship. I'm going to press this. I'm going to help this man. I'm going to love him. I'm going to not bother him. I'm not going to overwhelm him with phone calls or texts. I'm seasoned. I know what I want. I'm going to pray about this. Mm -hmm. I love this. Mm hmm. But mm hmm. He really wants to do do it, but to process it, 
A man can become depressed when he finds somebody that he really loves, but he's thinking about the process of getting in to somebody who's so full of substances, so seeds in the store. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. He called me. He think I'm very smart. And he tells me that. So I am very um, considerate. Or I'm very oh, patient. Okay. I gave, him a, I gave him a test. I said, let our date be on Valentine. I don't want anything else. I want my date with you officially to be on Valentine. Then I'll put your name <laughs> in the relationship with the name. I didn't put the name. Okay. So we if we don't have the date on Valentine, I told my son, I'm done. I'm not. So is, is, okay. is he coming to you or are you going to him? He's going to come to me. Okay. So I'm giving him until tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. All right. So look, when, um, let, let's see, today is what, Monday? Tomorrow's Valentine's. I'll, I'll be back on Wednesday. I need you to come back on Wednesday to let us know how uh, Valentine's Day worked out and if, if if you guys are an official couple at this point. Yeah, because he, he might he might want some Valentine's Day sugar. He want he want that he wants some chocolate. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it doesn't work out, I've got to, I've got to meet somebody who will just be, you know, the energy got to be good. Right, 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 right. Well, you take your time, and I'll, I'll tell you the. Difference, there, there is something that I believe, Arlene, is undefeated. There is something that is undefeated and it's been undefeated for thousands of years. You know what that something is? Time. Time, Time never lies. People lie, but time never lies if you give time enough space between you and a person time will tell you yes <laughs> or no and my time cuts off tomorrow <laughs> there you go but time never lies some people don't don't find out what they have until later on because they move too fast and they didn't give time enough space to reveal who the person actually is. Yes. But if you give it, you give time enough, enough space, time will tell you, yes, this is it. Ping, ping, ping. Or, or let, let, let me get my buzzer. Or <laughs> it's going to be one or the other. It's going to be. Yes, <laughs> or no, <laughs> but time will tell you. And you know, you know, you can't retrieve time. You have to, and when you're seasoned, and you know, I, I deal with so many different people every day. I, I believe that. I believe that. Every day. Yeah. I know what time of day it is. Mm -hmm. you know, one of the things I believe we women need to do is to understand. No man walks out of an island into a relationship. Mm. A woman can walk out of an island, hypothetically speaking, or metaphorically speaking. But a man does not walk out of an island. So we have to give them, when we meet them, we like them. We have to give them time yes. To, yes. to get themselves together. Yes. And know what they want. Yes. Because you know, they're they're not going to be like me who sit down here six years and I've been abstinent. I've not dated a man. I've not looked in a man's face. I've not had sex. And I'm just sex free, period. Just make pure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can walk out of an island into a man's life, but the man is going to be different. He's going to walk out of maybe different relationships. Oh, yeah. He's coming out of a relationship.
relationship. It's definitely. Out of a relationship yesterday and enter into one today. True. Unlike a woman, she needs time. True, true. And, and you know, quiet as it's kept, um, men need time too. They just don't take it. <laughs> and that's why they are so, excuse me, they're so jacked up. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. We we don't take enough time. That's why um I'm gonna be speaking at a barber shop um at the end of the month. And um I've never done anything like this, but uh the more I talk to the ladies, the more I feel like the there's a need to have relationship conversations in person with men, um, uh, where they can where we can have these honest conversations because like I started this show off talking about um, that we got to almost like redefine what masculinity means because it's, this isn't 1950, you know, where it meant one thing then, but it means something different now. And I don't think that a lot of men are aware of what that means. And so well, I'm, I'm going to be having those conversations over there at the, at, at the barbershop. It's hard to get men to come out to like, you know, events or churches or, you know, all these other places. So, I'm going where they at. Um, this barbershop is in McDonough. Um, oh, oh, you live out here? Okay. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you know, I'll, I'll send you the the info um, after when we pop off or at some point in time. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool because um, the men need to hear what women desire and and what you know we because we we really for the most part men don't have these conversations about like maintaining relationships and like like the integrity of relationships and just all the stuff men don't have those conversations much so i think it would be good what do you think that what do i think what No, no. Um, it's because there's no place for it, right? The 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 now we got there's some there's some there's actually lots of conversation that happen online on these on these platforms, but women think that they they're not having them because you don't see them. But you're it's not in your algorithm to to see men's conversations, uh, men's like empowerment and kind of men's self improvement. You're not gonna get those um, those those videos come up for you because you don't fit that. That's not your you don't fit that category. But they definitely do happen. They definitely do happen. But but um, but that's still a very tiny percentage of men having these conversations because the majority of men are not even online. They got a Facebook page. They got Instagram and all they do is like sit there and watch it sometime and just keep on going and don't put anything on it. You know? Yeah, they don't do anything. They're, they're inactive. Yes. They yes. Yeah. 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 A, a lot of them, I've, I've talked to them. A lot of them say that they feel like it's just a bunch of gossip <laughs> and they don't want to be a part of it. It's just it's yeah. social media is a bunch of gossip and um, they, they, they're not, they're not with that. But trust me, there are a lot of good quality men out there looking for some solid, beautiful, yes. successful yes. women. I hope one finds me. Yes, 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 yes. He definitely will. I hope one finds me. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. I, I just kick back. I'm like, I can't work, but I just want to get ready. Yeah, yeah. Well, you definitely deserve it. You definitely deserve it. So. And I deserve the best, and the best deserves me. And, Absolutely. And Now that I'm ready, I'm going to just become a little liberal and, and take a little more risk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. I love hearing that. I love hearing that. All right, Miss Arlene, uh, Chief Apostle Arlene, thank you so much for being coming up and hanging out with me. I love this conversation. Thank you, too. Thank you for receiving me. Absolutely. I it. All right, good night. Good night. Thank you. All right. That's my friend Arlene. 
Yes, yes. You can meet some amazing people here on social media. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Meet some amazing people. All right, y'all. Well, thank y'all so much. Look, uh, click the link in the bio. Uh, you can check out my store online. You can ch check out my YouTube channel. Um, it's all in the bio here on TikTok. And you guys, um, or you can check it all out at Love Coach Atlanta at, I'm sorry, lovecoachatlanta.com is the hub for all things KTJ. All right. Hope you guys have a great night. Peace and love. Later.